Merry Christmas, everybody. We're Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Woo, hallelujah. What a day. Christmas Day. I'm, and I was talking about it last night um, when I was a boy and we had Christmas and we opened our presents and everything on, on uh, Christmas Eve. And, oh man, Christmas Day, whew, that's, when you, that's when you hit the front yard. I mean, with everything and whatever kind of gifts your mom and daddy gave, gave me and everything. Oh man, I remember the Christmas of Christmases. I'd wanted a motorcycle all of my born days. I, I'm telling you, the scripture that applied to me was be aware of covetousness. <laughs> I coveted a motorcycle. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about from the time I was about six or seven. You're talking about serious. Serious. <laughs> I mean, I'd hide my eyes coming, walking home, riding my bicycle from school the last few yards because I didn't want to look. I'm thinking, they're going to be a, they're going to be a m motorcycle in that, that driveway. Well, <laughs> my mother had better sense than that. I mean, <laughs> at that mid, at any age like that. But Christmas morning, I had just turned, let's see, 1952, this would have been Christmas of um, 53. So uh, I'm, I mean, I, I was in high school. And it was a, there was a box about the size of that Bible, a little bit bigger, under the tree. And it is heavy, man, that thing weighs. I looked at this thing and I thought, what in the world could it be that heavy? Well, I opened it up and it is a box of magazines. But laying right on top of it was a note about that big that said, I'm in the driveway. Uh-oh. Now, back there then, there, there were no ignition keys on those motorcycle buckets, so there wasn't a key in it. Boom. I'm in the driveway. My knees went weak. I, 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 I ran and opened the front door where the driveway came down, and there it said, a 19. 1952 Triumph Thunderbird, glory Ooh, to wait. God. I fell on the front porch <laughs> and it was cold, cold, cold. I just I, I don't I don't I don't remember much about what I did or said after that except, you know, I'm You went thank, weak. Huh? I thank mom and daddy on the run. And I got my jacket on and I hit the street. I rode that thing a hundred miles. In freezing weather, I, I was like this when I got back that night. I didn't care. <laughs> Amen. That's what it, we ought to be 1,000 times more excited about Jesus and what he's given us. Glory to God did it again. I don't preach me slap happy. This you just got mm. started. <laughs> Whoa, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Look, look over here in the Gospel of John now. Okay. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Or, or, or now, by what? They were made by the Word. Amen. Because God said, light be. Now, all things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Now, come down and look at the 10th verse. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came into his own, and his own received him not. But now look, but as many as received him, to them he gave power or the right, the privilege, the authority to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, That's me. which were born, not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. 
and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Now, notice what he said. I, I'm telling you, we talked about this uh, last night, but I want to grasp this, get hold of this. He puts us, all of us that would re receive Him, all of, of us born of God. That puts us right in there equal to Him. Now, let me, let me show you something here now. Let's go over to 1 Peter. Now, those of you that have never heard that before, put your gun up. Don't get mad at me here. Get, let's see what the Word has to say about it. How could you ever be equal with Jesus? Well, just sit down, sweetheart, and I'll show you right here. Being born again, 1 Peter 1, 23, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the Word of God, which lives and abides forever. If you've accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you receive Him. Isn't that what, isn't, isn't what John said by the Holy Spirit in, in John chapter 1? You have received Him. Now, we are born of the Spirit. He was born of the Spirit. The Spirit hovered over Mary. We're going to look at that here in a moment. Now, we in our spirit, it was your spirit's born again, not your body nor your mind. Your mind has to be renewed, and your body has to be renewed and healed. But now, now get this, your spirit, the moment you accepted him as Lord and Savior, the scripture said we were translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son in, in, in the, the uh, first chapter of the book of Colossians. And then in Philippians 3, 20, it says our citizenship is in the, the, uh, in, in the heavens. Our citizenship is in heaven in the common wealth. Praise God of heaven. And Colossians says we are seated with him. Praise God. Ephesians chapter 2 says we are seated with him, raised up to be seated with him. Colossians says you have died and your, li your real life is hidden in Christ Jesus. So set your affections on things above. Yes. That's where you already are. Mm -hmm. Now then, Let's go back now and let's look here at Luke chapter 1, that quick, and we'll look at the 26th verse. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin, a spouse to a man whose name was Joseph, the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. The angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored. You are highly graced. You know what happened to you and I when we got born again? We were born again, listen, not, not of men. We were born again of what? Grace. It is by faith so that it might be by grace. Amen. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor. You have found grace with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He'll be great. He'll be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom, of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee. Now, now, now listen, here's the Spirit again. Now, in, in the first chapter of John, he said, we're born of the Spirit. This is, what I, this is the way it took place right here. The Holy Spirit shall come on you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore, also, that 
holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Now, wait a minute. From the book of Acts on to the book of Revelation, Jesus is never referred to as the only begotten Son of God, like, like here and like in John chapter 3, 16. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. No, no. He's referred to as the firstborn from the dead. Amen. You're in my numbers in there someplace. Oh, We're yes. born of yes. the Spirit. That We were dead in our trespasses and sin. He lifted us up Praise together. God. Amen. God made us sit together with Him in heavenly place. Now, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of you shall be called the Son of God. Now, and behold your cousin Elizabeth, she's also conceived and so forth. Look at verse 37. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said... Now, this is the moment that the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit was already in the room. The Holy Spirit sent Gabriel, who stands in the presence of the Almighty God. Jesus said, my words are not my own. It's the Father that dwells within me. He does the work. These were not Gabriel's words. They were the words of the Father. And the, the, the Spirit of God was on him and in that room. The Spirit of God was already hovering what caused the conception? Right here. Mary said, Behold the handmaiden mm -hmm. of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed. That's when the Word became flesh in her womb. She released faith. She believed what the angel said, and she completely yielded herself to God. Look at it again. Behold, look at me, the handmaiden of the Lord. I, sir, am yours. I belong to you. She gave herself, and he gave his son. Praise oh, God. Isn't it marvelous, Gloria? Oh, yeah. Praise the now, Lord. Thank you, uh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Whoa, uh, hold it. Same thing happened to you and me. The moment that we believed the word. Yes, that's right. And we said, Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. The Spirit of God, you heard the word. The word went into your heart. The Spirit of God hovered over you. He hovered over me. He hovered over Gloria. Now, let me tell you something. Now, now this, this is another step. This is a, a, a more advanced step in the Word of God. But do you remember that uh, the Scripture said in the, in the, in the, uh, the I started to say the Gospel of Romans. Well, it is the Gospel of Romans. <clears throat> the Word said, because of one man's disobedience, sin reigned. Mm -hmm. But because of one man's obedience, righteousness has come upon all men. The Spirit of God has come since the day of Pentecost. He is here. Praise God. This is hovering. He was moving on the face of the deep and nothing was happening. He was all, he's always moving. But then God said, light be light was. Praise God. Now, he's hovering over you. If he, he's moving always, he's never stagnant. He moves, he's, he's always moving all the time. Now, if nothing is happening in your life, it's time to get the Word in your heart and in your mouth, in your ears and in your eyes. It's time for the Word then to come out of you. And that's when things begin to happen. That's right. 
The Word begins to be made flesh and heals. The Word begins to be made debt-free power. Glory to God. The Word begins to be made flesh in the life of your children in the, well, glory to God. That's good. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, I want to go back here to the Gospel of Luke. I want to see why this angel, uh, I mean, the, the angel of the Lord came and notice what happened here in uh, uh, chapter 2, Luke chapter 2, verse 9. Lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, that's the shepherds, and the glory of the Lord shone round about. They were so afraid. The angel said to them, Fear not, for look, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people all people, see, all people, not just, just good people, all people. Mm. For unto you is born in the, this day in the city of David a Savior, which is the Anointed One. It is the Anointed One, the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, you'll find him in swaddling clothes, now, verse 13, suddenly there was with them the angel, with that angel, a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God. Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Hallelujah. Now, we talked yesterday about goodwill toward men. He, he, he's not talking about goodwill among men. He's talking about, talking about what's going on on the earth. It's talking about the Holy Spirit coming. And when Jesus was raised from the dead, the power of sin was broken, praise God. And every man, I don't care who you are, where you are, what you are. Jesus said, any man that comes unto me, I will no wise Amen. cast him yes. out. It, it, see, the only sin from that, the day Jesus was raised from the dead to keep you from going to heaven is to reject Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That is the only one because he dealt with everything else. He did everything but pray your prayer for you. Amen. Now, here's why the angels were, why they exploded like they did. There's born a Savior. Goodwill, the, the, the war between heaven and earth, goodwill toward man. Jesus, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, 18, 19, and 20, he reconciled the world to himself. And said, now you reconcile to him. He made his move. Yes. What was on the heart of God and what was it Jesus saw that brought him so much joy he could, he could, he could go through that horrible thing, including going to hell for you and me? Romans chapter 8. You ready to shout? I know you're already shouting, but you, hey, you ready? You ready? What did, what is they used to say in in, in, uh, in in the old Pentecostal church? Whoo! She shouted her hair down. You know, back there years ago, uh, and and still today, there are people that they um, they don't believe in cutting their hair. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't believe in cutting your hair, don't cut it. So. Uh, it, <laughs> they, I'm telling you, they get to shouting, and that hair had come down, and some of them had your glorious hair. I mean, it was all the way down here, and it just went everywhere, and it's just so much fun. Praise God! Now, uh, here's here's something for you to shout your hair down over. Glory right. to God. Amen. Romans chapter eight. I'm waiting till you get the Bible open there. There. Verse 1, there is therefore now. Mm -hmm. Say now. 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 Say it out loud, now. Now. Say it again, now. Now. Say it again, now. Now. Every time you said it, it updated. You can't say now while ago. Now. 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 That means believe when you pray, now. See, take it now. There is therefore now no condemnation. Now, that is the English translation of the word damnation. That The Greek text says damnation or condemned. There is, and of course, that's what condemnation means. Condemnation means 
condemned and damned. Mm. Now, when you tie the word damn or damnation to the word God, you have spoken a blasphemy. Now, why, why, why is that blasphemy? Because God's not the damner. No, 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 no. That's the devil. The, the, God, that's not God. There is no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh. Those that believe that and stand on that and walk after the Spirit, for the law of the Spirit of life in the anointing of Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. And Jesus was raised from the dead. The Holy Ghost came on the day of Pentecost, and it is there. The, the law, the law, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus became available. Spiritual law. What is that? That is giving us the authority, privilege, and power to become the sons of God. Amen. You Praise received God. him and boom. Glory to God. The power. Hallelujah. No condemnation. Mm -hmm. That's good. When the Son of God makes you free, you're free indeed. And you shall know the truth. You shall know that truth right there. And it'll make you free. Make you free. Merry Christmas, brother. You're Praise free. Praise God. Glory, and I'll be back. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Can you really have a Merry Christmas even when you have a thousand and one pressures bearing down on you? Yes, you can. No matter how intense or trivial the problems are that you're facing right now, you can have the most wonderful, most carefree Christmas season you've ever had in your life. And you can have it starting today. As a believer, you're probably familiar with that scripture that says to be anxious for nothing. But have you ever taken it seriously enough to put it into action? For the born-again, spirit-filled believer, worrying is a sin. So, even if the Christmas cards are late and 45 people are coming to your house for Christmas dinner, don't worry. Instead, do what the Bible says to do. Pray, making your request known to God, and praise Him for the answer. Then, you'll have peace. Now, go ahead and have a truly Merry Christmas. Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have a Christmas gift for you. The 2015 KCM Calendar. Strengthen your faith with the Word of God. Be reminded of God's promises as you read inspiring quotes from Kenneth and Gloria. Spend time in the Word every day. Read through the Bible in one year using the daily reading plan. Stay up to date with upcoming KCM events and plan to join us at a KCM meeting this year. Also included are holidays and national observations from around the world. Celebrate with other KCM partners and friends and support them in prayer as they commemorate their holidays. To request your free 2015 KCM calendar, go to kcm.org slash TV special. Reinforce your faith, energize your soul, and take note of the glorious days ahead. There is born unto you a Savior. Pray it with me out loud. You pray when Gloria prays. Oh God in heaven. Oh God in heaven. I believe with all my heart. I believe with all my heart. That Jesus came. That Jesus came. Bore my sin. Bore my sin. Raised from the dead. Raised from the dead. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I repent of sin. I repent of sin. I renounce the past. I renounce the past. I renounce the devil and everything he stands for. I renounce the devil and everything he stands Fill for. me, sir, with your precious Holy Spirit. Fill me, sir, with your precious Holy oh, Spirit. Oh, I receive now. I receive him now. In Jesus' In name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, there's two things I want to send you. One, Praise if God. you prayed that with glory in me, I want to send you a little book uh, that he did it all. He, he, he did this. He did it all for me. He did it all. She <laughs> could. Glory. Glory. Praise glory God. To God. Thank you, Jesus. He did it all for you. 
that it will help you get started reading your Bible. These, these things are in you. You don't need to be struggling this book no. like, like I did when we first got saved. Read it like uh, it's true. Oh, It'll it's make it wonderful. Difference. You Now then, another thing I want to send you, your new calendar. Glory to God. This is coming up J- January. I'll, I'll, this is January the, the, the first here. I want you to write, write across them, get you a big marker pen and black letters, born again, Christmas day, 2014. Oh, <laughs> Praise hallelujah. God. Amen. Big letters right across here. Now, new. look here. Look, new. Look, look, you're looking, look, 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 look. Every day, January the 1st, New Year's Day, and scripture reference right there. Every day, there's, you, you follow this calendar, and when you get to the end of the year, you will have read through the entire Bible, and you will have studied the New Testament like you never have in your life. And hey, this, this is not for just you guys that got born again. Now, you know what I'd write on this calendar? I'd write right up there at the top of it, November the 2nd, 1962. I'd write my birthday right up on the top of that. That ain't my physical birthday. That's December the 6th, 36th. That's the day I got born again. Amen. I'm not but 49 years old. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Isn't that nice? Good. <laughs> we love you with all of our hearts. We want you to have these things free and postpaid. Merry Christmas, everybody, and absolute fabulous, blessed New Year. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. Jesus is Lord. Learn who you are in Christ and how to begin your new life in victory. Request your free salvation package today at kcm.org salvation. Jesus did it all for you. Receive his love and experience the good life God has for you. For additional teaching and free information on salvation, go to kcm.org salvation. Continue to grow in God's word with this week's Believer's Voice of Victory, available at kcm.org for purchase, streaming, or download. Let God's grace abound toward you and live in the blessing. Come to a Kenneth Copeland Ministries event December 31st in Fort Worth, Texas, USA. Join Kenneth Copeland for a special New Year's Eve service at Eagle Mountain International Church. The 2015 Branson Victory Campaign, February 26th through 28th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland at Faith Life Church in Branson, Missouri. The 2015 Southwest Believers Convention, June 29th through July 4th with Kenneth and Gloria Copeland and their special guests in Fort Worth, Texas.